that Olympic sprinter, Shakari Richardson, she has been yeah. killing shit lately. I think she's Breaking broke the world record. record. She uh she's been winning hundred meter dashes like left and right. She's uh not like saying that she's back, she's saying that she's just better. But uh like if people don't remember her, she was the one, she was the Olympic athlete that went I guess she went viral because she didn't uh she got cut or she was disqualified for testing positive for marijuana, which at the time yep. she was using because she was going through a lot. But she like, lost weed, was it her mom and her grandma. Yeah. Exactly. And weed is not um like it's it's not performance enhancing at, at any time. Exactly. If anything, it's just gonna make you relax. Exactly. Like it's gonna help you mellow out and chill out. How are you feeling about this this rebound, this bounce back, and how are you feeling about her just going through what the I, fuck she had to go through? I think that it's super cool. I'm with LaMelo Ball that said, he told us on Twitter that if she don't smoke crack, let her run track. And I think that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. She's not out here. How do when you know this? Was... I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even because know anything it, about this thing, <laughs> and I'm all I'm I'm supporting it because because the athletes are going up for her. Like they were saying everything you're saying. Like we're, it's not performance enhancing. If anything, weed will take away from your game, depending on the strain that you get a hold of. A hold of like you yeah, might no, just want right. to sit around and, <laughs> and chill. I might not want to race today. I might not yeah. want to run. Actually. I don't know if I'm going to train. I'm going to chill in here and watch. It's always funny. Like I don't know, but like it, it's cool because she was because then she got a lot of shit for like underperforming. They're like, oh, she talked all this shit, right. and then now she's not even doing good in these qualifiers. So good on her for That's keeping right. her head together. And when people were talking all that shit about her, to just keep going because I I think that's cool. I'm I love like especially like black female athletes who were just out here like unapologetically like black women like with yeah, whether it's definitely. angel reese at lsu with her hair and her nails and all that other shit i, I don't know if she got nails but um she definitely does and yep. like just being like it's like that flojo vibe it's just like yeah we're so fucking cool like you should embrace that embrace that like like you're saying like with the diddy thing like People always, it's always ghetto and taboo until a white person does it, you know? Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Isn't so it crazy that the... they turn? Go ahead. No, go yes. ahead. Yes. No, go ahead. I was about to say, isn't it crazy that they turn a blind eye to sexual molestation and things like that, but then they'll sit there and harp and punish people for smoking some weed? Like, that's some fucking bullshit. It's like. Exactly. <laughs> like, the same Olympics that these girls were having to perform and be looked after after a fucking abuser, you want to yep. put down the hammer on this young girl, this promising athlete whose whole career ahead of her, who's going yep. to generate revenue for you for years to come. Exactly. Like, it made no sense to me. I'm so happy, like I said, that she kept her head down and just was out here working, apparently, the whole time because she's just been killing it. I didn't even think, because, like, how you just said, generate re revenue. They could have used her in all kinds of ways, even if it's not even for, like, her even running. She could come back to be a coach. She could endorse in so many other different yes. ways. Like, there were so many different yes. ways that you could sit there and use these athletes after they're done um, that with, with, like, performing. But yeah, you're I think that's what's right. the most exciting thing about like the moment of sports we're in right now is that we don't just like we have these athletes who after they retire, we can still see them like because they still have so much yep. to contribute to the games, their their respective sports. And I'm like, fucking finally, because obviously they have the athletic ability to do this. So yeah, athletes, keep controlling your narrative. And Shikari Richardson, like, man, power to you. I'm all the way with it. Hopefully, I can't wait um, to see her in the next Olympics. I love a, I love coming. the track. I love track Olympics. It's, like, my favorite. So I'm so excited to see her in 2024. Thanks for watching the YouTube page for more exclusive content. Like and subscribe. And if we said something wrong or if there's anything you want us to bring up, leave a comment right down there.